Hey there, Fort City family. Wow, a heck of a lot has happened since we were last together on Sunday. So I thought I'd reconnect with you this way on video. And uh, yeah, last Sunday I talked about my life first, uh, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he'll make your path straight. Well, I'm hanging on to that verse and I'm praying that verse for all of us as a church family and uh, really for the Christian community in our city, across our country and around the world. Uh, another verse that's been really critical to me is uh, from a song that we sang back in my camp days at Pioneer Camp in Ontario. The song kind of went like this, God is our refuge and strength. It's from Psalm 46.1 and it just says, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble, therefore we will not fear. What an advantage we have as followers of Jesus that we can be a people of confidence, a people who do not fear, and that we can share this confidence in Jesus with other people. Well, let me just kind of update you on a few things that are happening around here at Fort City. Uh, as you are probably very much aware, um, we are going to be changing our worship services, and our worship service is going to happen at Sunday at 10 a.m. online. And we just invite you to join us, whether on your own, with your family, or with whoever you live with. And maybe you might get daring, it might be a little weird, but you could sing with us and pray with us, uh, listen and interact to the message and all of that, and just allow God to move and work in your life through this service as you would normally as if you were here. Our groups and our programs, um, they're gonna be morphing into uh, different forms and creative ways of connecting. We're working on that right now. Uh, one of our Bible study groups uh, tonight is going to be meeting over Zoom, that starting point, and we'll be working that out in different ways uh, in the time that comes. Uh, kids ministry um, will be uh, giving you some information uh, what, on how to work with your kids, on uh, ways to be teaching your kids, and just some encouraging things to be doing with them, seeing as you have a lot of time with them right now. And the best way to connect with that information will be to be part of the Kids City page. And so I just encourage you to yeah, sign up if you haven't and become a part of that Kids City group uh, that's online. Uh, CARE, uh, we really want to encourage you if you are feeling at all ill, if you are self-isolating, or if you have any need, a prayer need, a practical need, uh, we want to ask you to tell us so that we can be praying for you and we can be assisting you. And one of the ways that you can do that is just message any of the pastoral staff or the email you can use is connect at fortcitychurch.ca. As well, we have a really uh, unique uh, gift to our congregation in Kara Stapleton. Uh, she's one of our board members and she is also a uh, trained uh, therapist and she is offering to spend time on the phone with uh, any of you who might be working through anxiety issues, uh, stress issues uh, that are coming out of this. And the way that you would connect with uh, Kara is just email us at, again, at connect at fortcitychurch.ca. We'll then uh, let Kara know and she will set up a time uh, to meet with you uh, that way. And again, as we just think about all of these things that are happening, um, we want to just stay connected with you in as many ways as possible. So one of the things Lucas is going to be doing is he's going to be going live from time to time with a, just a devotion of encouragement. So watch out for that. We just want to encourage you to be keeping an eye on our Facebook page in particular to see what's going on around here. And on a really positive note, this is an awesome opportunity for us just to be the church. It's an opportunity for you personally to be the church, to be looking out for needs on your street, looking out for needs among those that you work with, uh, uh, families of, of your kids' friends and all of that. Um, people who are don't know Jesus at all, I, I'm sure they would be open if you said, can I pray about that with you? Can I just pray for you. I think you'll find a lot of people saying yes, and maybe the door might even open for you to share a little hope that you have in Jesus in the midst of this crisis. Because, man, one of the things the Christian community has, one of the things you have as a follower of Jesus is a faith in a God who loves, who cares, who's in full control. And that's an awesome message that we get to share uh, with our community right now. Uh, on a note that uh, is a little stressful for everyone, can I just remind you that uh, your church as well um, will be moving into some challenging uh, financial times. Uh, you will be feeling the stress of finances as well. And we just want to encourage you to remember us and to step out in faith and continue to support us financially. You can do that online through Fort City Church, um, our webpage there. 
and we just encourage you, keep up with your giving, trust God. I know it's kind of a stressful time to be thinking about that, but if we can keep Fort City strong, um, together we can have a huge impact on this city. And so I just want to say, it's an awesome church family we get to be a part of. Uh, we didn't expect to be through another major crisis when we were through the wildfire just four years ago. And, and there's a hymn. I'm an oldster, so there's an old hymn that comes to mind. It's one written by uh, Martin Luther, and it goes like this. Uh, there's a certain um, verse in it that comes to mind, and it says, And though this world with devils filled should threaten to undo us, we will not fear, for God hath willed his truth to triumph through us. And I think I would just take that word fear and replace it with COVID and say, and though this world with COVID failed should threaten to undo us, we will not fear, for God hath willed his truth to triumph through us. So God bless, keep in contact. If there's any way we can serve you, get in contact and let's together be the church and let's, yeah, let's change this world through Jesus, even in a time of crisis and looking forward to walking with you in new and different ways in the days ahead.